Hey, international studies students. This week we are looking at uh, countries of West Europe. And um, we're going to start out with a quick video here looking at what countries are West Europe. Um, it's oftentimes a difficult thing to define, and you will find different answers depending on who you ask. All right, so the Central Intelligence Agency um, considers the countries of Belgium, France, Ireland, Luxembourg, Monaco, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom to be Western Europe. Not necessarily the countries I think of. So various organizations and groups will define Western Europe differently based on three different types of ideologies. Uh, that's history, geography, and economics. All right, so let's look at a historical definition. We might consider this also to be a political definition. Um, historically, after World War II, Europe was divided into two major parts, the Eastern Bloc, which you see here in red, and the Western Bloc, which is here in blue. On uh, the Eastern Bloc, the Soviet Union was the lead country and other countries were called satellite nations. These were nations that were aligned with, but uh, also under the influence and pressure of the Soviet Union. And that included countries like Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, and East Germany. The Western Bloc was known as Western Europe. It included non-communist countries. Uh, these were countries that were allied with NATO against the Soviet Union during the Cold War. Uh, this includes uh, the seven countries from the CIA definition. All right, so Belgium, France, Ireland, Luxembourg, Monaco, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and four additional countries. Um, Spain, Portugal, Andorra, which I think is right here, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, West Germany. If we look at a geographic de definition, some people might say that Western Europe is only France, the United Kingdom, uh, Spain, Portugal, and Western, excuse me, and Ireland. So, um, I guess Andorra is in there as well. So, you know, this would kind of make sense because after all, these are the countries that are furthest west amongst uh, the European nations. Uh, others would add Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Italy, Luxembourg, Andorra, San Marino, the Vatican City, which is a city state that's surrounded by Rome, Italy. It's the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church. It's uh, home to the Pope and a trove of uh, iconic art and architecture. Uh, Liechtenstein would also be included, as well as Monaco. Others would add Iceland and Finland to bring this to 20 countries. Some people consider an economic definition, how rich a country is or how developed it is when categorizing, you know, members into this list. And countries that would fit accordingly to this categorization are uh, Germany, the United Kingdom, Italy, France, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. These countries consistently rank in the top one-third of, of uh, European rankings by gross domestic product. Remember that gross domestic product is a monetary measure of the market value of all final goods and services that are produced uh, in a country over a period of time. All right, for the purpose of class, uh, we are going to consider the following countries as Western Europe, France and Germany. These are core countries. They form the largest subregion in terms of land area and population uh, in Europe. Uh, Switzerland, 
Austria, and Liechtenstein right here. These are landlocked Alpine countries. And finally, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg. These are considered to, they call these the low countries. That And that, you know, this is the smallest population in Europe. And uh, sometimes they are referred to as, collectively, as the Benelux countries. B-E-N-E-L-U-X. Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Benelux. All right. So that will be Western Europe. And that is what we're studying this week.